uh, without alcohol or any drugs. Just broadcasting. Uh, we stay up and make music. And I know there's a lot of other people that make music out here and they want to do it too. So we're going to let you sit in. Um, How's that? How many people are going to sit in anyway? No, no, no. One, two, Linda Bryce, you got some? Did you bring anything? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we'll figure something out. We have a little miracle that happened tonight. And who was it? Elvis was saying, Dan, you never know, miracles can happen, you know. You just meet new things. And it, the, the wisdom coming from the Oki okay. from Muskoki, Elvis. But then we have Sheila here who's going to share an amazing moment with somebody else. And it's going to be a miracle. Hey, watch out, Hirsch. <laughs> All right. And then here's another miracle. I always wanted to play with Hank Hirsch again after playing with him at, at Ivory's. But I've been, I'm kind of uh, been blacklisted from there because I'm not your typical jazz player. So what happened is my sax player couldn't make it, and I got, got him after all. So that's how we ended up with Hank. Yay. See? You got blacklisted too? God, I, I just played there once, and they kicked me out. Maybe it was all those yeah, drinks I had. I don't know. You're just not trying hard now. And then, again, the drummer, he was sick, and... Just got back from China, hasn't seen his wife and kids in a month, and I said, well, take the time off. And, and so we, we got Jay Harris. Jay Harris, whoa! Jay Harris, person. Yeah, so, and then, and we wouldn't even be doing it this, if it wasn't for David J. White. Or is it Bernie? Do we owe it all to Bernie? Oh, Bernie. Yeah, we owe it all to Bernie. Bernie, Bernie. 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 When autumn leaves 
start to fall. To fall. dimensions where time and coincidence happen and you have a coincidence so tell me about it well the incident is this I moved to, Cal to uh, Portland a few years ago mm -hmm. and somebody told me about uh, TVI Transformational Voice Institute and invited me down to one of their open evenings. And I went down and got up cold and sang the song I'm gonna sing tonight. And it was really great and I really loved what she was doing. So I decided to sign up for a couple of classes with her. 
And actually, my breathing's good, except once in a while. I've, my, I've increased my range, my vocal range, and I can, I can t and got through that break, you know, that little place in your voice where you kind of crack from the lower register up to your head. And it's been wonderful. It's made such a difference in my singing, so thanks to Linda. So this song is gonna be dedicated to Linda because it's the first song she ever heard me singing and it's the first song I ever sang at her place. So this is for you, Linda. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Joe, I got a little story you ought to know. We're drinking, my friend, to the end of a brief episode. Just make it one for my baby and one more for. the routine drop another nickel in that machine I'm feeling so bad I wish you'd make the music dreamy and sad this torch that I found must be dry Just make it one for my baby, one for the road. You'd never know it, but buddy, I'm a kind of poet, and I've got a lot of things to say. And when I you gotta listen to me until it's talked away. Well, that's how it goes. Joe, I know you're getting anxious to close. So thanks for the cheer. I hope you didn't mind my Bend in your ear This torch that I found Must be drowned Or it soon might explode Just make it one for my baby Thank you. 
this routine So drop another nickel in that machine I'm feeling so sad Please make the music dreamy and sad This torch that I found must be drowned or it soon might explode. Just make it one for my baby, one more for the road. That long so long Road. that's how it goes Joe you're getting some answers you're getting too close so thanks for the cheer I hope you did it my way Must be drowned or it might explode. Must make it one for my baby, one more for the Now, what did that have to do with vocal lessons?